late 2022, 22 and a half miles of Interstate 66 from the Capitol Beltway to Gainesville, Virginia, will be transformed into a multimodal corridor that will move more people, provide safer, more reliable trips, and offer new travel choices. When complete, the corridor will feature two express lanes and three general purpose lanes in each direction, with ramp to ramp connections provided between interchanges where needed. Combined with new bicycle and pedestrian facilities, new and improved interchange configurations, new transit options, and reserved median space for future transit. Tomorrow's I-66 will move more people and serve the needs of Northern Virginia's travelers well into the future. The project corridor begins shortly after the Route 29 interchange in Gainesville. At this point, drivers will have the first opportunity to enter the eastbound express lanes via an entrance ramp accessed from the far left lane. One important element of transforming I-66 is new choices for ride sharing and transit. New park and ride lots are being built near I-66 at the intersection of Route 29 and University Boulevard in Gainesville and off of Balls Ford Road at Century Park Drive in Manassas. Both park and ride lots will have a combined capacity of approximately 3,200 parking spaces, including space for commuter buses, kiss and ride areas, carpooling, van pooling and local shuttles, as well as pedestrian and bicycle accommodations. Additional space is being reserved for more parking spots in the future. Both of these park and ride lots will have direct access to the express lanes via new dedicated ramps from University Boulevard and Century Park Drive. Heading east from Gainesville, drivers have the option to enter the express lanes via an entrance ramp, accessed from the far left general purpose lane, just prior to the Sudley Road interchange. As part of the Transform 66 project, I-66 Express Mobility Partners provided an additional $579 million concession payment to the Commonwealth of Virginia for transportation improvements in the I-66 corridor. Prince William County is using part of these funds to make additional improvements to Balls Ford Road, widening that corridor between Sudley Road and Prince William Parkway. From Sudley Road, drivers traveling to I-66 East can enter the express lanes by staying to the right on the Sudley Road on-ramp and continuing on a new flyover access ramp into the eastbound express lanes. From I-66 West, drivers will be able to exit the express lanes via a flyover ramp to exit to Sudley Road or to continue traveling westbound in the general purpose lanes. Several aging bridges along the project corridor, including Bull Run Drive over I-66, are being rebuilt to accommodate the widened highway. In Fairfax County, new pedestrian and bike facilities have been added along the corridor, working closely with the Virginia Department of Transportation, local governments, parks, and community groups. 18 miles of new shared-use trail are being built by Express Mobility Partners and others, integrating with existing and planned trails near I-66. When close to residential properties, the trail will run along the highway side of the noise barrier. Where space allows, the trail will be on the outside of the noise barriers. At Route 29 in Centerville, the interchange is not being redesigned. However, the I-66 bridges over Route 29 are being widened, lengthened, and raised to accommodate future transportation improvements on Route 29, as well as provide space in the median for future transit services. At the Route 28 interchange, improvements involve constructing 12 new bridges, creating a multi-level interchange, which will provide direct access to and from the I-66 express lanes and general purpose lanes for Route 28 travelers. These new access points will reduce congestion and give drivers more travel options. These improvements also allow for the removal of the four traffic signals along Route 28 between I-66 and Eleanor C. Lawrence Park by late 2020. With the removal of the traffic signals north of I-66, Braddock Road and Walney Road are being reconnected with an overpass with ramps that give direct access to the I-66 express lanes and general purpose lanes, as well as access to and from Route 28 from the south. Drivers along I-66 eastbound will also have an opportunity to enter the new express lanes via a left-hand slip ramp just prior to the Route 28 interchange. A grade-separated pedestrian trail running through the interchange will provide connections to both existing and future Fairfax County trails. 
The project extends north on the Route 28 corridor, adding a fourth lane in each direction from the I-66 interchange to Westfield Boulevard. Poplar Tree Road will now connect with Stonecroft Boulevard via a new bridge. This new bridge has received additional funding as a concession project for Fairfax County in order to build the bridge to accommodate four lanes in the future. The bridge will be striped for two lanes while Fairfax County works to make future improvements on Poplar Tree Road. A new access road into the Eleanor C. Lawrence Park Athletic Fields Complex from Stonecroft Boulevard provides safer access to the park facilities. Over 100 parking spaces have also been added at the athletic complex. The old park entrance on Route 28 permanently closed in December 2019. Continuing on I-66, between Route 28 and Stringfellow Road, new ramps provide access from the express lanes to the general purpose lanes in both the east and westbound directions. New connections at Stringfellow Road will give drivers direct 24-7 access to the I-66 express lanes to and from the east. This configuration allows for the preservation of median space to accommodate future transit. Here, the shared use trail crosses under I-66 to provide connections to the Stringfellow Road Park and Ride facility and to the north and south sides of I-66. At Fairfax County Parkway, the shared use trail moves off corridor along Fair Lake Circle and Fair Lakes Parkway to connect with future Fairfax County Trail along West Ox and Random Hills Road. New ramps at Monument Drive give access to and from the express lanes eastbound and westbound. Improvements will also be made to the Monument Drive Bridge, providing pedestrians access to transit services and a new commuter parking garage at Fairfax Corner. The garage, to be built by Fairfax County with concession fee funding, will provide an additional 800 parking spaces for commuters with direct access to I-66. At Route 50, Ramps from eastbound Route 50 to the eastbound express lanes and from the westbound express lanes to westbound Route 50 are added. The interchange shifts slightly towards the east to accommodate the widened center median and allows for safety improvements. A shared use trail winds through the interchange and connects to both planned and existing Fairfax County trails. The Route 50 interchange improvements will decrease delays and improve travel times in the area. The Waples Mill Bridge is being lengthened to accommodate the new I-66 footprint. Pedestrian and bike facilities will be added to the western side of the bridge and will connect to local trails on the north and south of I-66. The Germantown Road Bridge will be expanded from a two-lane bridge to a four-lane bridge with bike and pedestrian facilities on both sides of the bridge. This bridge expansion was made possible through the additional funding received as a concession fee project for Fairfax County. The new Chain Bridge Road Route 123 interchange will include new express lane access ramps to and from the east and west and improved connections to and from the general purpose lanes. The shared use trail will run throughout the interchange, mostly grade separated. Multiple access points provide options for trail users. The new trails at Chain Bridge Road will connect to the City of Fairfax's new George Snyder Trail, which is also a concession fee funded improvement. The Vaden Drive overpass will include new ramps connecting the I-66 express lanes to and from the west with the Vienna Metro Station parking facilities. Only passenger vehicles, buses and light trucks will have access at Vaden. At Nutley Street, a double roundabout-style interchange will be built. The new interchange will provide safer, more efficient travel for vehicles entering and exiting I-66 East and West, as well as those vehicles and pedestrians traveling through the interchange on Nutley Street. Additionally, the new design will enhance multimodal access with a grade-separated shared-use trail through the interchange, connecting to other bike and pedestrian improvements being made around the Vienna Metro Rail Station and into the town of Vienna. Cedar Lane Bridge over I-66 is also being rebuilt to accommodate a widened I-66. 
The new bridge will include a shared use trail and wider sidewalk, as well as a nearby connection to the new shared use trail being built along I-66. A flyover ramp just east of Nutley Street provides express lane access from the eastbound I-66 general purpose lanes. Drivers will access this ramp from the right-hand side of the eastbound general purpose lanes. This ramp will also allow drivers in the eastbound general purpose lanes to access the I-495 north and south express lanes. The Gallows Road Bridge over I-66 is being rebuilt to accommodate the new footprint of I-66. As part of the reconstruction, Gallows Road is realigned to improve sightlines for travelers, make room for future improvements to the roadway, and includes improved bicycle and pedestrian facilities on the bridge over I-66. Connection will also be provided to the new shared use trail built along I-66. The I-495 I-66 interchange is the eastern terminus of the I-66 outside the Beltway Project Corridor. Here, drivers heading westbound from I-66 inside the Beltway will have the first opportunity to enter the westbound express lanes via an entrance ramp accessed from the far left lane. Along I-66 East, the eastbound express lanes will end just east of I-495 where the express lane will merge with the I-66 inside the Beltway travel lanes. The interchange will also feature six new ramps, providing direct connections between the general purpose and express lanes of both I-66 and I-495. The existing ramps from the I-495 northbound general purpose and express lanes to westbound I-66 will provide for direct access to the I-66 westbound express lanes. A new ramp will be built to replace existing connections so that I-495 northbound travelers can still easily access the I-66 westbound general purpose lanes. Access ramps from the I-495 southbound general purpose and express lanes to I-66 westbound are reconfigured to provide travelers with the option of accessing either the I-66 general purpose or express lanes. The I-66 Outside the Beltway project is an innovative investment in the region that will move more people, improve safety, and reduce congestion throughout the I-66 corridor.